What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop 2x2 two two formations like gun doubles or gun spread in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click subscribe down below. We release new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, like I said, just click that subscribe button down below. All right, guys, so in this video, we're talking about uh, really an effective defensive concept for, you know, two by two. So that's, uh, you know, stuff like gun doubles, gun spread, single back doubles, any kind of two by two formation, meaning two receivers on one side and two receivers on the other side. Now, we're going to be using our nickel 335 odd defense to kind of discuss this. If you want to get my complete 335 odd defensive guide, there's a link in the description of this video where you can get that full defensive guide for just 15 bucks. So I know defense is very difficult this year, but I've released, I believe, the best defense in the game right now. And real quick, for those of you that might be wondering about a potential patch, any patch that comes out that changes how defense works, we will be releasing a 100% free of charge update to the ebook. So as new patches come out, or as they change zone coverages, or if they mess with how the blitzes work, all of that stuff we are going to update you with. So um, really, it's a phenomenal little defensive system and defensive guide. I would encourage you to get it. There's a link in the description. All you got to do is click on that link. It'll take you right to my website. And like I said, you can get the ebook for just 15 bucks. Now, the play we're going over for 2x2 uh, two two spread is the cover 6 defense. And this is my favorite defense for um, this kind of situation. Now, what I like to do as a general rule, you're going to notice here that my cover 2 is to the tight end side. That is one way to do it, especially if you're defending gun doubles. But another way that I like to deal with, with uh, match coverage is I'll go into my game options. So you see here, I'll go into my settings. If you're in game, you can just do this through coaching adjustments, and I'll turn auto flip off. The reason why is because I always want my cover four to be to the wide side of the field and my cover two to be to the short side. So I'm just going to flip the play because in this example where the ball is on the left hash, so I simply flip the cover six, and now you see I have cover two to the short side of the field and cover four to the wide side. The setup is really simple. All we're gonna do is spread our defensive line, and we're gonna crash our defensive line either down or to the opposite side of this linebacker right here. So I like to typically spread my line and spread my linebackers as well. It helps the pressure significantly. And then what I like to do is I like to actually bring these linebackers kind of in tight Maybe throw that slot corner off this edge just like this. Just kind of try to clean up the, the set a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to man up on this slot receiver with, you know, pretty much anyone we want. In this example, what I'm going to do is man up Levante David onto the slot receiver. So basically what I like to do is take the three rec hook defender and man him up on whoever I think the problem in the formation could be. That could be the running back. That could be the tight end. That could be the slot. It, it, it's up to you. Okay. Then you're going to take the defensive end opposite of the linebacker that is blitzing, and you're going to put him into a bluff blitz assignment just like this. You're going to see this is how it looks. You see that it puts him in a three-rec hook. Then all we're going to do is user this linebacker over the middle. I tend, I tend to like to go ahead and put him on a blitz assignment because it helps me in run defense significantly. Okay? And all we're going to do is basically drop into the middle of the field and take any crossing route um, that's going to happen. So you'll see here, this is how your defense will play. And as you see, the pressure absolutely, scream, absolutely screams at the opponent. But if we go into instant replay, take a look at the coverage. You're going to notice here that this tight end corner route is no longer an option. You see the match defense takes that away very well. Quarter flat does a good job there. You're going to notice a three red hook defender takes the running back to the flat, taking that away. And the other thing, if you take a look over here, you're going to see that this corner route is open, but there is man coverage going in that direction to be able to at least make that a difficult throw. And then as you see, you have your soft squat logic right there. So that is um, how I like to defend this. Now, another little trick of the trade is to bring the safeties into the box. This is going to help them react a little bit better to things like corner routes and crossing routes of that nature. And now I want to show you the play Y cross. And this is really where your user comes into handy because what you're going to be able to do is your job as the user is if you see a crossing route going from one side of the field to the other, typically what I like to tell people is if it's going from the right side of the field, um, if it's going from the left side of the field to the right, that's normally your responsibility. Meaning if it's going from the cover two side to the cover four side, 
that's where I like to use the crosser. In this example, the tight end, we'll just show you how this plays. You'll see the tight end will get matched in man. So as you see, the guy is right there. Now, obviously, you could kind of sit in that little pocket if you see that and take that away. But that is something that is open. But as you can see, the match coverage is basically right there. Now I want to go to another crossing route. This is the PA read play out of gun doubles. And again, we're using that same logic. But as you can notice, we have the slot corner manned up on that slot crossing route. So as they run the crossing route, what you're going to see is very good coverage. Obviously, you're kind of using in the middle of the field. And if you need to take the crosser, you certainly can. So you're able to stop pretty much every single major route combination in the entire offense just with one simple coverage. Now, you could obviously mix up who that guy's manned up to because whoever they're throwing the ball to more is who I like to man him up to. So if they're throwing the ball to the tight end all the time, man him up on the tight end. If they're throwing the ball to the square receiver, man him up to the square receiver. Typically, the slot receiver is where I like to start. And you see this angle of smash play, very good match coverage. You see right in the position, and we make a play. So we make a play on pretty much every major thing that they're going to do in gun doubles. One last little pro tip about gun doubles is let's say this is why I like to have the quarters set to the field, meaning the cover four is going to go to the wide side of the field. So let's say they motion this guy right here and turn it into a three wide receiver set on the right. Okay, well, technically I guess this is quads, but all we're going to do is just simply man up that guy that was motioned and you're going to see here, we're going to play fairly solid defense. Here, regardless of the route that he's on, you're going to see pretty solid coverage across the board. And obviously, we have incredible pressure. So, you know, that's pretty much the defense for two by two. Like I said, you know, if they're, if they're, if they're doing something like this, uh, where the ball might be over on this hash mark, what I like to do is simply flip the play. So if I come out and I'm ever in a wrong alignment, I just simply flip the play just like this. Now we're going to crash to the left instead of the right. And basically everything, the roles become reversed. Honestly, this is a much better way to play this defense. And the reason why is because you can leave this three red hook over here and man him up on the tight end. And then you can kind of come in here with your user. And you'll see that this is a great way to defend, you know, any kind of double set. Because if they try to throw a corner route, you're going to take that completely away. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive game plan, I'm going to put a link in the description to that. It's the exact defense that I run in weekend league and in money games and in competitive situations. It's a defense that I would feel comfortable betting money on. It's the best defense in the game right now. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive guide, there's a link in the description. You just click that link and it'll take you right to the website and you can get that defensive guide.